So in this video, I wanted to talk about the use of tags in Asana and specifically how you add a new tag, how you then edit tags, as it's not always clear, and then finally how you can delete tags. Uh, what's really important is this is a typical project. Uh, we can see we have the assignee and the due date. And in many ways, if you're on the free version of Asana, uh, tags are a way in some ways to add another field in your uh, workflow, in your project. So if we click on this field uh, icon at the top of the, the, the list here, you can see that we've got assignee and you can turn on and off the various fields. In custom fields in the paid versions of Asana, uh, you can add as many fields as you want and then describe them as you see fit, but it is a paid feature. So in many ways, tags takes over one of those fields in the free version. So generally, I, I don't use tags in the paid version of Asana, but it's not a bad idea if you need an extra field or descriptor in the free version. So we can see here, if we look at our tasks in the project, there are no tags assigned. So the first thing that we need to do is to add a tag. And there are, as is there are many ways in Asana, there are numerous ways to be able to do this. And you'll see if we look at the task in detail, uh, if the task has no tags at all, there's nothing shown, not even a, a button in terms of this is where to add it. So there are two ways to do this. There is the three dots in the, to in the top of the, the task description. And we can see here, add, tags and then what we see is this tags uh, appears whereas previously it was hidden uh, and so let's say that we want to kind of add here's some of my existing tags you know I want to make this particular task a milestone so I can add this as a milestone here uh, and then I can close the item and you'll see that the tag appears in the main screen uh, if we want to do it uh, generally the quicker way through keyboard shortcuts, as you can see from the menu there, the keyboard shortcut is tab T, and we can bring up the tags that way. So there we are. That's, that's how we add a tag uh, to some of the tasks. So let's add a couple more tags here. So tab T for the shortcut. And let's say that this one is a low priority tag. And so we can start to see, and, and again, you can use them as you desire. You can use them for priority. You can use them for departments. You can use them for some other descriptor in terms of the task itself. So then the question then comes is, okay, what happens if I made a typo? Uh, what happens if I want to change the name of this tag? It's not apparent how you do this. There's nothing in the menu. There's no edit anywhere. And so it is a bit of a hidden way of doing this. So what you actually have to do is click on the tag name actually within the tag itself. And you'll see here, we now have this tag listed in the same way we would see a project. Uh, and here below would be all of the tasks that have this tag of milestone. So in, in terms of editing, again, not totally clear how it's done, but this little arrow here on the actions gives you the option to rename. So we can call this a now a financial milestone. And we can see that the tag itself has changed and that would be applicable to all of the tasks that have that tag. So that's the rename from the top. Uh, we can copy a tag link. Uh, so that gives us, it's copied it to the clipboard. Uh, so again, not immediately obvious. And so you can paste essentially this link uh, to go back or, or post it or put it in a message or 
whatever uh, you need in order for somebody else or for yourself to come back to this later. Um, the sync to calendar has nothing to do with tags. Uh, similarly, and then we can also change the color of this tag. So let's just change it to this pink color. Uh, and you can see again, the milestone has changed to the pink color. So that is editing tags. Again, not too clear uh, because this is not really in any of the menus. So just clicking on this particular tag in any of the tasks will take you to this particular page. So then the next question is, is what happens then if I've created uh, tags and, and then I want to delete them? So let's go back to my previous project. Uh, and I've got this tag here, uh, the 60 minutes that I no longer need is I put some of these in to give me an indication of how long the tasks would take. I trialed it, didn't really work for me, so I'm not really interested in these anymore. So again, it's it's the similar way. We have to click on the tag itself. You'll see it appears in the top. It also gives you a list of all of the tasks that have this tag, as we saw previously. Really useful if you're about to delete something and you go, ah, I, I remembered. And, you know, you can review essentially all of the tasks that contain that tag before you delete it. But it's the last item on this list from this drop down arrow where we can then delete that tag and it's gone. So that's where we are. Uh, here we are back to the project. So that's where we are in terms of tagging. So uh, it's in the fields, you can turn it on or off if you can't find it in the place, first place. And then you are now able to add, edit, and delete your tags. If you have any further questions about Asana or tagging, uh, please see them in the notes below this video. Thank you very much.